Hello and welcome back to this installment of the Test Modeler 101 series. In this chapter, we'll be covering projects and releases. The first step to modeling is creating your project, and your project will contain all of your models and your test assets. From there, your project can be further segmented by releases, and this will associate all of your models and test assets with a particular release. Together, they act as a file manager to help you organize your models. And models themselves can be saved to different versions, for example, to show the transition of a requirement model into an automation model. So with that, let's go ahead and create our first project and release. So we're inside of Test Modeler now, and we can navigate to the project and releases at the top. When we click Add, we're taken to our projects page, and that lists every project we have in our workspace. Then we'll click on New Project, and we'll give our project a name, as well as a description. Then we'll be asked to choose a configuration, and you'll see several of our quick start templates here that help you rapidly create automation for web testing, mobile, API, mainframe, and more. The next module of the series will take a look at each of these examples in more detail. So let's choose web automation for this project. And we have a series of tutorials designed to help you begin modeling and create automation in a couple of steps. So we highly recommend checking these out. And we'll click Save. And we're now in the context of our new project. So that means that all of the assets we see underneath our Explorer would be for this project only. And now let's create a new release. So we'll click into our example project and then select new release. And we'll give this a name and click save. And we can see that the new release has been added. And under actions, we can choose which release context we want to view. And when you're in a particular context, all of your models and assets will be saved to that release only. We're inside of the Explorer page. And finally, let's go ahead and save a new version of one of the example models. So let's open up the login model here. And let's say that the valid email for this login account change. So we'll go inside of our test data variables tab and we'll enter in a new email here. And we'll want to save this as a new version of the model. That way we can reference the old data if we need to. So we'll go ahead and click on File, Save. And then we'll want to select New Version. And it'll ask us to type in a commit message. And then we can click Save. And at the top, we can see that we're now viewing the model as our latest version.